Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. There are some things that's happening here in the Minnesota. It has to do with carjackings. And I'm sure this possibly is happening all across the country. And what are people doing about it? Uh, people are being victimized. Uh, a lot of these uh, hijackings, the carjackings, uh, uh, guns are used. And there's a lot of fear when you start putting guns on people. People can lose their lives. And this thing is just growing. And you, most of the things that's being done is the police are trying to up their patrols and give information to the public about keeping their cars Turned off when you're not in them. When you go to the gas pump, turn your car off. When you go inside, have your car off. And don't be <clears throat> leaving your car running because you're putting yourself at a loss. Now, this is what the system, this is how we respond to stuff like that. But when you see these kinds of crimes taking place, taking people's cars, what is that all about? Some way or another, it's about an advantage that they don't have. They don't have access to cars. They don't have access to do the things that cars are used for. Maybe they're trying to sell a car. No, There's no telling what they're trying to do. Or they might be trying to do anything. It's a crime. But what is the crime about? It is about the necessitation of dealing with the poverty of this nation. So while we sit back and think these are criminals, we got to lock them up. Why are they criminals? They are criminals because of the system in which we live. They are criminals because we do not understand the kind of system that would allow everybody to be engaged in the process of creating and participating in all of the resources that exist on this earth. We are not familiar and have enough compassion to allow people to benefit from such a process because we all have been set in motion to believe that it's about money, it's about power, it's about greed. All the antichrist, the anti-God, evil, and poverty, people stealing your cars are the results. The answer is ending poverty. You'd be amazed how you can keep your windows unlocked. You'd be amazed how you can let the air blow through your house and through your car. You would be amazed how you can walk down the streets not worried about being robbed. You would be amazed that nobody would be thinking about anything but how wonderful it is today. So I don't want you to be caught up in thinking that the solution, yes, yes it's a problem, it's a major problem. We're all against it. But I don't want you to think that the only solution is locking people up. It is thinking like that, that created that situation that you're now dissatisfied with. Let's do a new approach. Let's do it the way of love. Listen to somebody who knows a little bit about love yourself. You know you wouldn't want it to happen to you. So don't want it to happen to anyone else. Have a good day.